I was really interested in trying to create an environment where everybody treated each other well. And was, was this a happy, clappy idea? Or, I mean, there's an element of actually, yes, I, I think it's a better way to live your life. But, but I also believed it was a really strong business model. You are a global company. 80% of our sales are overseas. We took that growth from 6 to 80% in four years, that growth rate came in. I also think that it's good to have someone to go along the journey with. I mean, there's lots of bumps along the way and it's also good to have someone to celebrate all the upside to. I guess motivation and self-belief has always been key for us um, and to be honest failing was not an option. It's all about attitude, if people have a great attitude in the business you will grow the business. If people don't have a great attitude they shouldn't be in the business because it just doesn't work and actually to make those decisions quickly, to act really really quickly. absolutely focus on the right things. It's an easy thing to say and a difficult thing to do, especially when you're starting up a business. You have so many different demands on your time. There's only one thing that's important really, and that's bringing in some business, uh, certainly in a traditional business model. Uh, for digital businesses, that may be entirely different. It's about building a platform, but, but for most traditional businesses, just focus laser-like on that. Forget your marketing strategy, for, forget the financing pieces, forget everything else, forget the office environment, just concentrate on that and everything flows from that. Identifying what areas are weak and being honest. So I basically look at it almost like a pie or sliced up. Which areas am I weak? Logistics, I was weak, got that strengthened up. IP was weak, that was strengthened up. So I basically got a leader at every single top, at every single division, then comfortably knowing that everything is underpinned. So it comes through and I think the secret is don't interfere. It may be my company, I may be the entrepreneur giving the spirit, but I'm going to kill it if I don't allow the person who I dedicated in that division to do their job. When we were working on our business plan, there were a few places we looked. We did a great deal of research on the internet. Uh, we, we found experts in particular fields who we'd get in touch with to try and understand one thing in greater detail. There was obviously a lot of work with uh, people, consumers, testing concepts, seeing if they liked our products. And as, as the business has evolved, we've definitely uh, sought advice in, in various places and there has been lots of examples where external agencies have been really helpful. As someone who has an idea, maybe you're sat in your bedroom thinking about it or you're at work and thinking actually I'd rather be doing this other thing than I've got in my head, um, I'd say one, it's never too late, um, that actually you can always take that leap and if it, what's the worst that can happen, as long as you don't put lots and lots of money into it and drop everything, then you've got to think what's the downside. If the downside is fairly minimal, just go for it. Um, it's massively exhilarating, um, it's the sort of thing where you get out of bed in the morning and you want to be at your desk, you want to be at work and if you don't feel like that, then there's probably a wider world out there. The support I got from my family when we set up Medilink Consulting was extremely important, important for us. And the reason was a business is like a roller coaster. You have your highs and you have your lows. And they were there when the lows were happening. And it goes to show without their support, we wouldn't be here today. Don't try and control it too much. Um, see where the business goes, see where the opportunity is, but always have that sense of direction. Go with your gut feeling. Every single time I will go with my gut feeling. Allow yourself to make mistakes, but know when, know when to cut it. If you're thinking of starting a business, I think you should go for it. You know, do enough research, work with great people, but there comes a point where you just have to hit the button and give it a go. And in, in my experience, it's a wonderful journey. So good luck.